Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how we can implement the K-means clustering in R Studio. Let's get started. First of all, uh, we have to load some library. So the library which I'm gonna use in this video, uh, which you have to install as well, the, the installer packages, it's called cluster because we're gonna use it for visualization purpose. So first step is to load the necessary package, which is cluster. Second thing is I've already have loaded data set uh, using read.csv method within the variable, which is called k-min data. So let's understand this k-min data first, like what's the input data set for our, this video, this k-means clustering. We are having this data set available in which we have the first column is customer ID. Second is the information of gender, male or female. Third is age. Fourth is annual income and last is spending score. Actually, this data set is about the shopping mall and the shopping mall uh, people, the, the administrator of the shopping mall wants to uh, make a segments, wants to create a segments of the customers based upon annual income and spending score. So what is spending score? They have given the score from one to 100. If it's towards one, it means the customer is spending less. If it's towards 100, customer is spending more. Okay, so they want to make a, a segments of the customers based upon annual income and spending score. So this is the task we have to achieve with K-means clustering. Okay, so let's st get started. So in this case, because we are only requiring last two columns, let's perform the subsetting first. So I'm putting this data in the X variable with the K-mean data. Only I just I only just required is the last two columns. So I'll be using four column five. It means uh, sorry, uh, with the bracket of uh, subsetting we are doing done so we can say now in the x we are having last two columns available which are required as an input to the k-means clustering afterwards what to do once we have this we have to now use the elbow method to find the optimal number of clusters so uh, for that first thing we have to do is actually there are random factors in k-means which can uh, they are random factors so we can obtain slightly different results by using k-means several times so in order to get all the same results we are gonna set the same seed okay so let's uh, set the seed set dot seed okay i'm gonna use some uh, number here you can use any number here eight uh, done okay now we are going to use a for loop to compute some different within cluster sum of squares i've already have explained wcss in my previous video for different number of clusters and uh, we're gonna place the different within uh, cluster sum of squares in a vector so let's start by initializing the vector the name wcss and i'm gonna de declare a vector here okay empty vector done Afterwards, what we are going to do is we're going to use the for loop. So let's let's write for loop and in the parenthesis, we have to now define uh, the, the, the range 1 to 10. Uh, I hope you all are clear that in the R, the lower bounded and upper bound both are included. It means 1 and 10 both are included, right? Afterwards, let's now uh, uh, define the WCSS here and let's uh, populate the vector with the 10, 10 numbers, okay? WCS uh, I and then we can define equal to sum okay and in this case we gonna use k means functions so k means and then we have to define x which is having input data comma i and then we gonna use dollar okay withins with in so what you must be wondering what is this withins okay let's check out i've already have opened up the help of this k means in the right side you can see the withins are nothing but the it is vector of within cluster sum of squares okay so it means with this a little command i'll be having my uh, all the 10 wcss generated in the vector okay let's see okay now check out the value of wcss so you can see now we got the vector of 10 WCSS generated. Okay, now we gonna plot the graph so that we can come to know that how many uh, clusters we want uh, to go further, right? I've already told you uh, using elbow, elbow method, we can define, we can get to know that how many clusters uh, we can do it okay we can we can uh, we, we can we can obtain right for that we have to do it visually so for that we're gonna use plot method plot function so in the plot function we first we have to define x equal to uh, 1 to 10 okay and then we can uh, define the uh, y axis equal to wcss and then we can define uh, type equal to b i've already have defined this i've already in my video section of our playlist i've already have uh, like um, uh, made the videos on the visualization as well in case you're not clear with this that how we can plot some graphs in the r you can just watch that and then we can define the title main equal to uh, we can define using paste function uh, elbow method okay elbow method there's a title and then we can define uh, the x label and y label with the x lab equal to we can define number of clusters okay 
and and in the y lab we can define wcss y lab equal to wcss okay wcss done let's draw the graph you can see now in the right side we got a graph and i've already told you this look like an elbow and you can see after five there's a sharp dip available so we can de determine we are pretty much clear from this uh, this uh, visualization that five is a number of clusters going further right so we are have a half job done right now let's now last step coming in let's fit the k-means to data set okay uh, let's do it uh, we're gonna use now k-means as the function k means and in this case k means what we're going to use we're going to use first x okay it will be x which is in which data is available then we can define centers i've already got from this elbow method we're going to use five and then uh, we can use iteration dot max which you can again it's up to you okay how many iterations you require and then n start so what is n start let me show you the all the details in the help option everything is available here only you can see this uh, iteration is number of iterations right and in this case you will find all the uh, important points here and start means if if center is a number how many random sets should be chosen it's up to you these are the numbers you can define right of your based upon the problem statement right done okay so we got it now last step is pending now uh, now we have to visualize the clusters so for that we, the library cluster will be used which i've already have loaded i'm going to use the uh, function plus plot okay again plus plot is available i can show you here this is a plus plot uh, function in which there are a lot of parameters are available right and we're going to use uh, one by one right so let's let's do it the last step is coming in plus plot and the plus plot uh, the first parameter i'm going to use x it will be obviously x right and then plus equal to means plus is second parameter this is plus what is plus here Plus is the uh, the cluster, okay? So cluster is available. Plus equivalent to it's available in my k means and in the cluster, okay? Done. And afterwards we are gonna use some other functions. Lines equal to zero. What is lines? I can define from here. Lines means uh, if it's zero means no distance line will be appearing on plot. So this is uh, the ideal situation. So we're gonna use it. And we can also define shade equal to true. And this is just uh, optional parameters. And we can also use color equal to true color uh, equal to true okay done afterwards we can also define labels okay labels equal to and we can define two okay you can also check out from here labels equal to true meaning is all the points and ellipses are labeled in one plot because i want all my points all my ellipses the clusters should be labeled in the plot okay i want it so that i get more information then i can use plot uh, we can use plot care in this case we're gonna use equal to uh, false okay so you get you get all the information from here only the from the help section and we can use span equal to uh, equal to uh, true okay I can show you what's the meaning of it first we have the plot care the plot care meaning is logical flag if true then the plotting symbol different for points belonging to the different clusters so we got false and then we have a span means if true each cluster is represented by the ellipse with the smallest area containing all the points so the thing is we are just going with the as per the documentation only so you can just change the parameters as per your own choice and then afterwards we can just define the time legend the main title the main equal to we can specify paste and here we can specify clusters of customers okay it's up to you whatever you want and our last point is pending it's called x label and y label x label i'm gonna define as annual income okay and next we require spending score in the y label the last point let's see if it's working or not okay uh, spending score score all right let's see if it's working right okay you can see now we got an answer here let me zoom in properly then it will be more clear what we got let me now magnify it you can see now we got five clusters so you must be wondering what's that actually you can see that every cluster is properly named we have a cluster one we have a cluster two we have a cluster three we have a cluster four we have a cluster five so what it means in this case you can see what is the interpretation in this case uh, uh, the very we have a file we have a clusters available let's look at them one by one cluster one clients in cluster one you can see this one has high income right the cluster one has a high income and have a low spending score okay the cluster one right 
and uh, it means the meaning is like um, so in this cluster cluster the clients earn a high income but don't spend much money so we could call this cluster of clients careful for careful clients okay cluster 2 you can see cluster 2 in this case have a uh, average high income have a average income sorry and average spending score okay uh, sorry cluster 2 uh, uh, sorry the cluster 2 is having more income and more spending score so it means this two is a potential target for the mall okay because they have a high income and they have a high spending score right so in this case you can see this this customer this cluster three you can see it's opposite it's having low income but they are spending more it means we can say they are careless they me they are they are they are they are spending more but they are having lesser income so in this way you can interpret the results okay so it means that cluster two is a our potential target because this cluster 2 is having more income and more spending score right so this is the cluster it means it's a potential target for all the ma uh, mall marketing campaigns so it will be very insightful for the mall to understand what kind of products are brought by the uh, bought by the clients in the cluster so eventually we can give this two cluster the name targets right so this is the cluster uh, this one is having the cluster 5 is having we can say average income and average spending score Right. So in this way, we can interpret the results. I hope uh, you must have understood from this short little video that how we can implement the K-means clustering in R Studio. Right. So don't forget to follow the help of K-means function and cluster plot. So to get more information about what are the different parameters we're going to use in this. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next video.